Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to get the best Nintendo 64 emulator for your Nintendo Wii. So keep in mind, not every game will work with this. Some of them have like a few graphics glitches and FPS issues, but pretty much all of the best Nintendo 64 games work perfectly fine. So the first thing you want to do is take out your Nintendo Wii's SD card, connect it to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Over on your computer, the link to Not64 will be in the description of this video, it will be a GitHub link. And as you guys can see, it was actually updated roughly a year ago um, on the 9th of October 2017. But all you want to do is click the zip file right here and that will begin downloading the latest version. So once that has finished downloading, you want to head over to your PC's downloads folder and just find the zip file in here. So what you want to do is double click on the zip file and we want to take out these two folders. We want to take out the apps folder and the not64 folder. So just select them both and then drag them out and drop them in your downloads folder. Now I've got some Nintendo 64 ROMs there. It's up to you where you get these from. This works with both type of ROMs, so the N64 and the Z64. So what I'm going to do is select all of these and put them inside of the not64 folder. Go inside of this folder and then drag them all again inside of the ROMs folder. So once you have got the apps folder and the not64 folder, get your Wii's SD card ready and just drag and drop both of the files onto the root. So once they have finished copying across, you can just check that they're here on your SD card and one should be in the apps folder. So that is literally it for the PC. We can now disconnect our SD card, put it back into our Nintendo Wii and I will show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so back on your Nintendo Wii, you actually want to open up the homebrew channel. So just find it and then start that up. Once we are on the homebrew channel, you're looking for Not64, the Nintendo 64 emulator for Wii. So press A and then press A to load it. So just wait for it to refresh. And the first thing I'm going to do is just go down to settings and press A, go on to um, in video, and we're just going to turn FPS on. So as you can see, it's on off right now, but we're going to press A to turn that on. There's a few other things at the top. We've got input, um, this is for like controller and stuff. We've got audio, saves, you can actually save on this, and you can choose where you want to save, your SD or your USB, you can choose. I am just chose the SD card. Um, we've got video, general, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So you press B to go back. Um, there isn't really many options in here that I'd want to change apart from FPS and maybe controller. Then you go up to load ROM and press A. Uh, make sure you select load from SD or wherever your ROM is. And now you can find it. So let's go with Super Mario 64 first and test this out. So just press A and it will start loading up. Once it says it has loaded successfully, just press A on OK. And then go down to play game and press A on that. Right guys, so let's test out some Mario 64 gameplay and I'm actually using the controller as kind of like um, how you'd play Mario Kart. I'm like tilting it forward to run and then tilting it back to go backwards. It's a really interesting way of playing and I guess it does actually work kind of well. So if you guys don't know how to get um, to the main menu, you actually have to press 1 and 2 at the same time. So I'll be doing that now. So if you just press 1 and 2, it will bring you back to the main menu like this. You can go up, go into settings, go into input and press A, go down to configure buttons, press A, and this is where you can edit the controller. So I'm just going to leave it how it is, but you can literally select every single option and change stuff on here. So just press B to go back and obviously B to go back again. And now you can scroll down and just go to resume game. So as you can see, the sound works perfectly fine and everything like that. And yeah, it's actually working pretty well. So we are right now running a solid 30 FPS. Um, sometimes it dips down to 29, but it's actually pretty solid. And the audio quality is actually very good as well. There's no like glitches or anything like that. It's definitely playable. This is a lot better than a Nintendo 64 emulator that you can get on your PSPs. Uh, maybe the controls could be changed a bit because this Mario one 
uh, like this Mario Kart style control does get a bit glitchy I have to admit but it is kind of fun playing like this oh you can use other controllers as well um, like GameCube controllers and stuff you just need to set it up but yeah definitely not a terrible emulator I could definitely play this because there's no really real issue I mean this could almost be like I'm playing on an original Nintendo 64 but anyway let's try out another game so if I'm just going to press 1 and 2 at the same time let's go up to load ROM and let's go load from SD and let's find something else so let's go for Pokemon Stadium this game is quite hard to run I believe so it'll be interesting to see um, what the FPS is on this game okay so the FPS is not as good as it was on Mario 64 right now it's at 25 and it seems to be okay but sometimes it does drop down a bit but let's just press A to start the game. Oh, you actually press the home button um, for like the start button. It won't take you out the app. The only thing that takes you out the app is pressing 1 and 2. So as you can see, this version is actually glitched. Um, there's a ton of like graphical glitches, so it looks like we can't play this. Um, I'm pretty sure it's glitched. It doesn't really look like we can do anything from here. So let's just press 1 and 2. So this game is not currently loadable. But let's try and load a different ROM. Load from SD. Let's try Super Smash Bros. 64. Let's see how the intro of this performs. So this game can actually be run at 60 FPS instead of 30. And it is actually running pretty well. So it seems to be at 60 FPS with no real lag. And the audio is working perfectly fine. So this game definitely playable. Um, Pokemon Stadium definitely wasn't. So um, obviously I can't test every game, but I was just testing, you know, the most popular Nintendo 64 games. And out of the three, um, Super Mario 64 and Pokemon and Smash Bros seem to work perfectly fine. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.